Hi everyone, this is my video on the Ghost in the Shell movie titled, I've seen Ghost in the Shell three times, you should see it at least once. So, um, Ghost in the Shell just fell out of the top ten, I think two or three weeks after it came out here in America. Um, here's Box Office Mojo, which is pretty reliable, and it's clearly a flop in America, having only made $35 million. But if you look at the foreign, especially the disparity, this is not normal to have 73% from foreign, but it's doing great overseas, uh, especially in Asian markets. They don't have any problems with the, the thing that killed it in America. And um, uh, I'll, I'll just be real brief on this since it's kind of a dead issue. But um, I read the original manga and I've read uh, almost everything that Shiro has made. And uh, he never sp specifically says what the body shell that Motoko is in, what race it's supposed to look like. He said it's a common model, um, but the uh, the future Japan this is set in is very multi-ethnic because there's been massive waves of refugees coming in. So it's quite different than modern Japan. It's also a completely fictional Japan. All of Shiro's stories involve um, multi-ethnic versions of Japan, whether it's like a pseudo-Japan like Olympus in... Uh, uh, um, Appleseed or even Orion, Dominion, all of his books are kind of like a different version of Japan, which he always chooses to make multi-ethnic. So this is Dunan from Appleseed. This is Motoko from the first Ghost in the Shell. I'm just going to flip back and forth. You can see that it's the same face. And he's explicitly said that Dunan is Caucasian. I don't think it's a leap to say that um, Motoko's body model might also be Caucasian. Um, here's some, this is a really great image and I, I just, I'm, right now I'm just doing quick videos. Um, at the po this point I don't have enough viewers to really justify working a couple hours on making the videos look all nice so I just kind of talk over an image and obviously I don't own this image but this is a great image from the movie. So first of all the movie's fantastic. Um, not just average like I was expecting, but a really deep movie. It's an ideas movie. It is absolutely not an action movie. In fact, the action is, I wouldn't call it substandard, but I would call it substandard as compared to the rest of the movie. The movie is a solid A. The um, action, it tends to be a B or a C. Uh, there's not really a lot of it, though. So this is an idea that fully uses the ideas that the original Japanese creator made in the manga. And one of the interesting things about Shiro is he created Ghost in the Shell, Apple Seed, and these have been adapted widely um, in, uh, in anime. But he never takes his story ideas very uh, seriously. He kind of treats everything like a goof. Uh, they, ha they tend to have like a lethal weapon or even sitcom style tone to them. Uh, but this one was played very straight, and I, and I loved it. Because it got into all the themes and ideas Shiro introduced and then didn't really fully explore. So, obviously, Scarlett Johansson is white, and she's in a fully synthetic body model. On the uh, laboratory table here, you see a much older version uh, of a robot. And one of the things i got to say about this movie is the production design is amazing. And we're talking about every level from the designs to the gear, the weapons, the city, it all looks great. Now it does repeat a lot of stuff from Blade Runner, but then again, the manga wasn't influenced by Blade Runner, but I actually thought this was a lot deeper than Blade Runner because Blade Runner was almost kind of like a shaggy dog story. It's like, what if humans weren't humans? Okay, then they wouldn't be humans. But it's actually a little deeper. It, it showed the, um, the replicants wanted to be human more than the humans did. The humans were just kind of blah and the, the replicants were kind of full of life. So this one is, it's, uh, it actually reminds me of um, Repo Men in, in that the future there's a lot of body modification. So, um, you know, you'll get a robot hand or a robot leg. But uh, Matoko, Scarlett Johansson, she's the first 100% um, synthetic body. And um, I, don't, I think the spoilers have already been spoiled, so just stop if you don't want to learn it, but spoilers. Uh, so Motoko uh, is actually called uh, Mira Killian, and then she finds out her real name is Motoko Kusanagi. This is done 
really, really well. To the point where I have a friend who's a screenwriter and a comic writer, and he was dead set against this movie. He just, everything he heard, he hated it. And I just really pressed him to watch it. And then he did, and he came back, and he rated it actually higher than I did. I said it was a B plus. He said it was a solid A. Um, and when I rewatched it, um, I raised it up to a, to an A myself. The main thing that I gave it a B initially for was kind of the the couple of action scenes are kind of very not blah, but they don't match the rest of the movie. So the great thing about this is that Scarlett Johansson really treats this role very seriously, and uh, there's a lot of things in, in uh, this about identity, and there's also just a lot of, it's a very emotional movie, it's great. They, they set up this uh, a trope where, um, you know, you're, you're constantly very vulnerable in this society. Your brain can be hacked, uh, just like, you know, a computer. So um, uh, there's this thing about consent, and, you know, before something is done where you put yourself in a vulnerable state, you have to state your name and then say that you give consent. There's this really great, and again, spoilers, scene at the end where she's effectively about to be murdered and she just says, I do not give consent to this. And then a person who actually cares about her says, yeah, we never needed your consent. That's just something we told people to make them feel good. Uh, that was kind of uh, a really shocking and emotional scene. So Scarlett Johansson is fascinating in this movie. She's fantastic. I think this is one of those movies that will become a cult classic that is going to do great on DVD and on um, you know Netflix and everything later on because man it just it takes everything I judge uh, movies not on some basic standard but on what did you try and how successful were, were you and this thing just everything it wanted to be it was it covered the issues of identity and, and really what makes you you um, the funny thing is that uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, Mira slash Makotoko, is incredibly depressed the entire movie. Um, and there's actually some really beautiful scenes that revolve on her just being depressed and feeling out of sorts. Uh, at one point, she goes to the bottom of the harbor, and she just it's at night, and she just sits down there with her eyes closed. She comes up, and she meets Bateau, her uh, partner, and he asks her why she does that, and she says, because... You know, it's it's scary, um, and she's alone down there, and uh, but it's also in the same time kind of comforting. That's a really interesting idea. It's not in the comics at all, and there's all kinds of really interesting ideas. This literally took the the comic and just improved it. I think this is better than the comic, which is just surface level. It's just kind of an idea encyclopedia. You throw some ideas out, and then you don't really do a lot with them. So, um, Scarlett Johansson's character is kind of very uh, detached and bitter, and you can tell this is not a happy life. Like, she's in this robotic shell. She can feel that it's fake all the time. She can feel that she doesn't connect with other people who are either fully human or mostly human. There's this other beautiful uh, scene where she goes to what is effectively a skin prostitute, and... Um, the point is that she went there literally just to touch human skin. That's all she does. She just, the woman has her mouth covered and then she uh, has her uncover it um, and just touches like her face and her lips. And he, she says, she asks what it feels like to be touched. This is, um, this is kind of vaguely inspired by one scene. It was mainly just done for titillation in the comics. Um, I think, it, I think Shiro actually said that when you're like a full body model, you just kind of rent yourself out for entertainment to people. Sometimes it was very, it was very teenagery. Um, but uh, the director and the screenwriter and the actors took it into this really deep realm, and you see this all over. The best uh, scenes are with we eventually meet uh, Matoko's real mom, and it's shockingly beautiful how well that whole scene is done. She's talking about her daughter and it was a very troubled relationship between the two of them but it feels very real because she talks about her she is basically and she describes the way you describe a person with their good points and their bad points and 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 all your feelings connected with them so she actually recognizes her daughter in mira at that time 
Mira is another personality put on top of Otoko's actual personality. And then, um, so this is really an ideas movie. It's not an action movie. It is uh, real sci-fi. It reminds me a lot of Repo Men. But then there's this other just things like the uh, the production design is amazing. The guns, the the weapons, the the gear, all of it looks great. But really at heart, it's an it's an acting movie and it's an ideas movie. In that way, it hit it out of the park. This is the highest possible recommendation I can give you. Um, I think there's a 3D version movie of this movie. I've never seen it. I wouldn't bother with it. It was great in 2D. Go see it at a, at a matinee. I, it's probably only going to be in the theaters for about uh, two more weeks. See it and then come back and give me your comments. Recommend it to other people. It's a really great movie and, and, and um, the rest of the world's loving it. So America just kind of got tricked into not liking it because of the weird politics of our really biased media. That's a whole other uh, video. But highest recommendation... Go see it, leave your comments, and thanks for watching.